All right, so here's the finished shop press. The top beams are eight inch C channels that I bought off uh, on a big lot of metal I bought off uh, at an auction. And uh, the adjustable ones at the bottom here are six inch uh, cross C channels. And I connect them with some uh, connector pins here that are actually removable. So in case I ever need to have more than the six inch gap here in between, I can uh, unscrew these uh, bolts and uh, put, I'd have to get a new or like a longer pin here um, that sticks out further, but then I can create four more and uh, have them like 10 inches apart. I don't think I'd ever need that, but just in case I didn't want to weld the, the two C channels together in the middle or else I'd have to buy another $50 worth of C channels. Um, the springs, I just used six um, springs from a trampoline. Uh, found them on Kijiji for a dollar a piece, so that's not bad. It would have cost over 20, I think it was 25 bucks for each side of the spring, return spring at uh, Princess Auto, and even a Canadian tire, couldn't find anything else. Um, the bottle jack is uh, 20 tons. Got it on sale for like 50 bucks at Princess Auto. I know it's more expensive than in the in the states. It's um, you can get them a lot cheaper at Harbor Freight, but this was a good deal. Fifty fifty dollars for a twenty uh, ton jack, and uh, I think the stroke of the ram here is six and a quarter inch. I didn't have it extended all the way, um, but it would go a little bit further. Then I ended up having to drill and tap a hole in the side here and uh, attach it to a vinyl hose that goes into. Uh, just a, ga uh, a lawnmower tank. Let's see if I can lift it up. And I mounted it on top here. So because the the bottle jack is upside down, uh, I ended up having to actually put a, a vinyl hose in. A, uh, you know, f this is normally where the oil gets sucked into the jack. Um, so I extended it all the way down, but even when I go and extend the uh, the ram all the way down, the the, the level inside uh, goes too far and it sucks air into the jack, into the pump mechanism, and that's a real pain to bleed. So that's why I attached uh, the um, extension hydraulic oil tank there. Well, it all real good together. I'm pretty pleased with it. Probably gonna put it away and not use it for the next year or so, but uh, I'd much rather have it uh, and not use it than the other way around. All right, let's see if uh, this jack, this spring returns it well. I'm gonna open the hole here. There you go. So I'm pretty happy about that. Finally done. And here's the whole thing in its full glory. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, the top, I actually made it uh, with the 8-inch C-channel. So this would be rated for probably a 34, 35-ton uh, bottle jack. So I could put in a stronger one, but then I'd have to get uh, bigger C-channels at the bottom. But for now, I figured it'd be easier to weld the strong ones at the top and then have to replace the bottom ones if I, if I need to. So I'm pretty happy about it.